Hello all, this is a continuation of the Covenant C2 video. Part 1 of the video will be in the video's description whereby the setup, installation and basic usage was shown and demonstrated. This video will be showcasing how we can bypass Windows Defender completely and obtain a Covenant C2 grant callback. If we were to turn on Windows Defender, we can see that our grant C2 connection is lost and if we were to relaunch the PowerShell command again, it is obviously not going to work. Windows Defender will be able to detect it as malicious and prevent it from working. All of the template launchers provided will not work out of the box. This is because Covenant C2 is an open source tool and it is already heavily signatured. What we can do here to bypass Windows Defender is to make use of the shellcode launcher. By selecting shellcode from the launcher console, we will be able to download the Covenant Grant raw shellcode payload file. There are many videos available on my channel showing how you can create a custom shellcode launcher file in languages such as C++ and C Sharp. We will be making use of one of the videos to execute this Covenant C2 shellcode. We will need to transfer the Covenant Grant shellcode file grunthttp.bin onto our Kali machine. We will then execute the Python script available to perform AES encryption on the shellcode file. The Python script will output the AES key as well as the AES encrypted shellcode bytes. We will need to copy and paste these two variables into our source code C++ file. The shellcode launcher that we will be using will be in C++. It uses AES encryption to load the encrypted shellcode into memory and it will execute the shellcode with the typical create thread and wait for single object process injection technique. We can then compile the source code file to get an EXE Windows executable payload file. This payload file will basically decrypt the AES encrypted Covenant shellcode directly in memory and then execute the shellcode. Alright, let's transfer the compiled EXE file over to our Windows. Now let's execute it. Awesome, we were able to get a callback on our Covenant C2 as shown over here. Let's see if we can interact with it. Nice, it is indeed functional. As shown in the screen, there is no detection and prevention from Windows Defender. We were able to successfully bypass Windows Defender with our custom EXE shellcode launcher payload file. The callback we have from the Covenant Run is also functional and works perfectly without triggering any Windows Defender alert. That is all to this video. As demonstrated, we were able to successfully bypass Windows Defender completely and obtain a Covenant C2 callback. The references used in the video will be provided in the video's description, so be sure to check them out. It is also highly recommended to check out my other videos on Windows Defender bypass as well. Covenant C2 seems like a great C2 tool with a nice web graphical user interface. Definitely worth exploring more of its customizations and advanced configurations available. I hope you all have enjoyed the video. Please help to like the video and subscribe to the channel. It will help out the channel a lot. Thanks all. I will see you all soon in the next one. Bye.